Installation of Dragon Naturally Speaking Speech Recognition Software Before you install Dragon Naturally Speaking Disable Microsoft Office S Alternative User Input, which can interfere with Dragon. First of all insert Dragon Naturally Speaking Divide into your DVD drive. If the installation does not start automatically, use Window Explorer to find and double-click setup it's on the DVD. When you start installation on Windows Vista, if you see a message program needs your permission to continue, click Continue to start the installation. Following the Windows installer, it installs two software packages Visual C++, version 8.0. Power MIC Microphone Drivers for Medical Edition. Then the wizard starts click next to proceed to the license agreement page. Go through the agreement and select I accept the terms. Click next. Provide your username and organization, and the serial number supplied to your installation. This is optional. Once the setup page appears, click the change button and choose where to install the product. If there are no previous versions of Dragon installed on your system, the default directory is C, backslash program files backslash nuance backslash naturally speaking 10. C version 10 file structure for a list of directories created by installation. Choose the setup type typical complete and click next to continue. Now you can select any particular feature of the product and click to choose where when to install it. The options available here are specifically used for installing multiple languages and multiple vocabularies. Select Next option and if you don't have professional or medical edition skip to the next step or else choose any checkboxes under additional options to have additional dialog boxes pop up at the end of the installation to make changes which affect all users dictating on this computer. Click Next to install the program page where you can choose from Enable Quick Start Mode for the current user upgrade existing speech files to work with the installation. To start the installation process, click on Install option. When the installation completes, proceed with any of the following sections that apply to your custom installation. Modifying application settings for all users on page 16. Modifying administrative settings on page 16. Setting formatting options on page 17. Now click to choose to upgrade speech files earlier. Check yes, check for program updates to download any updates after the setup completes and click finish to complete the installation. Dragon is undoubtedly the world's best voice recognition software. Here's what it can do. Welcome to General Training. Training is about to begin. Training? Okay, so what it did is it gave me a sample of how the training process is going to work. Essentially, it gives me the option here to select a story to read. Now, there are a few different options, and because obviously we have the medical version installed, we've got some pathology and radiology and medical reports, and those are great. I recommend it for first-time users of Dragon Naturally Speaking to go through and read Talking to Your Computer. And the reason is, is because it's a good introduction to speech recognition and how speech recognition works and how you should dictate. So for our training, we're going to go through and select Talking to Your Computer. When you click OK, essentially we're going to be brought back to the main window back here where we're just going to read for about five to six minutes until it tells us we're done. We would like you to read aloud for a few minutes while the computer listens to you and learns how you speak. When you have finished reading, we'll make some adjustments and then you'll be able to talk to your computer and see the words appear on your screen. In the meantime, we would like to explain why talking to a computer is not the same as talking to a person and then give you a few tips about how to speak when dictating. Understanding spoken language is something that people often take for granted. Most of us develop the ability to recognize speech when we're very young. 
were already experts at speech recognition by the age of three or so. When people first start using speech recognition software, they might be surprised that the computer makes mistakes. Maybe unconsciously, we compare the computer to another person, but the computer is not like a person. What the computer does when it listens to speech is different from what a person does. The first challenge in speech recognition is to identify what is speech and what is just noise. People can filter out noise fairly easily, which lets us talk to each other almost anywhere. We have conversations in busy train stations, across the dance floor, and in crowded restaurants. It would be very dull if we had to sit in a quiet room every time we wanted to talk to each other. Unlike people, computers need help separating speech sounds from other sounds. When you speak to a computer, you should be in a place without too much noise. Sounds. When you speak to a computer, you should be in a place without too much noise. Then you must speak clearly into a microphone that has been placed in the right position. If you do this, the computer will hear you just fine and not get confused by other noises around you. A second challenge in speech recognition is to speech from more than one speaker. People do this very naturally. We have no problem chatting one moment with Aunt Grace, who has a high, thin voice, and the next moment with Cousin Paul, who has a voice like a foghorn. People easily adjust to the unique characteristics of every voice. Speech recognition software, on the other hand, works best when the computer has a chance to adjust to each new speaker. The process of teaching the computer to recognize your voice is called training, and it's what you're doing right now. The training process takes only a few minutes for most people. If, after you begin using the program, you find that the computer is making more mistakes than you expect, use the tools provided in the Accuracy Center to improve the recognition accuracy. Another challenge is how to distinguish between two or more phrases that sound alike. People use common sense and context knowledge of the topic being talked about to decide whether a speaker said ice cream or I scream. Speech recognition programs don't understand what words mean, so they can't use common sense the way people do. Instead, they keep track of how frequently words occur by themselves and in the context of other words. This information helps the computer choose the most likely word or phrase from among several possibilities. Finally, people sometimes mumble, slur their words, or leave words out altogether. They assume usually correctly that their listeners will be able to fill in the gaps. Unfortunately, computers won't understand mumbled speech or missing words. They only understand what was actually spoken and don't know enough to fill in the gaps by guessing what was meant. To understand what it means to speak both clearly and naturally, listen to the way the newscasters read the news. If you copy the style when you dictate, the program should successfully recognize what you say. One of the most effective ways to make speech recognition work better is to practice speaking evenly or practice speaking clearly and evenly when you dictate. Try thinking about what you want to say before you start to speak. This will help you speak in longer, more natural phrases. Speak at your normal pace without slowing down. When another person is having trouble understanding you, speaking more slowly usually helps. It doesn't help, however, to speak at an unnatural pace when you're talking to a computer. This is because the program listens for predictable sound patterns when matching sounds to words. If you speak in syllables, each syllable is likely to be transcribed as a separate word. And that's it. And that's it. It's not so bad. So we've gone through, we've read the story. It says, congratulations. We simply click OK. What the program is going to do is it's going to match our sound to the actual story. How did we read it? How did we sound? Do we have an accent, etc.? So it's going to adapt to the user files. This process takes only a few minutes.